Hi. Hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, the Creative Agile IT. So as part of today's video, I'm going to share uh, how we can create a release in Jira and uh, how we can uh, tag different stories or issues as part of that release, how we can manage that release, how we can check its progress. So uh, this is going to be the very first video on uh, release management in Jira. So uh, I hope it will help you guys. So we will start. So uh, I am sharing uh, the Jira app which I have created on the Atlassian Cloud. So we will be using my Scrum 25, uh, the Scrum project that I have used in uh, some of my Jira videos earlier as well. So as we can see on this particular Jira app in cloud, we have uh, these four projects listed. So I will simply click, look, click on my Scrum 25. So if I go to the backlog, if I click on the backlog, so uh, we can see there are some 11 issues. So we have some stories around user login, then forgot username, forgot password, user profile creation, then uh, certain stories on the online payment, online payment through net banking, debit card, credit card. We also have the story automation framework for test. We have dev environment setup, test environment setup, and then maybe a shopping cart for the customer. So uh, let's say uh, this is a new team and they are going to start like working in the sprint. At the same time, they do have uh, the very first release in their mind. Uh, and uh, they are thinking like, you know, what all will go in the release, how they can, uh, you know, uh, create a release in Jira, how they can manage what all has been done as part of that release, what all has been not completed as part of the release, how to tag a user story that is going to be part of the very first release. So all uh, those kind of things. So what we will do is the very first thing that we will do because right now there are no sprints in this board. And as we can see, we have a button here which says create a sprint. So what we will do is we will create a simple sprint. Uh, so it automatically says my sprint for and uh, let's say, I would say edit sprint. And uh, yeah, we will make it uh, custom only. Uh, today is 17th and uh, let's say it is also ending on maybe it's ending on 28th okay and we will simply say this is my mys sprint one let's say if it allows us to give this name okay so this is our very first sprint maybe then we can create another sprint and uh, this my sprint two, we can give it a date and we can say, uh, I think, I think uh, what we will do is, we will just make it like two weeks of a sprint. So it's a starting on 17. Okay, let's keep it like custom only. Okay, we will give it custom. So it's a starting on 17th and it is ending on 28th. Okay, we will keep it similar. And on the sprint two, what we can do is uh, we can say that uh, okay, this is this is a starting on third of March and it is ending on uh, let's say fourteenth. And we can create one more sprint which says sprint three, and uh, we can give some dates here. So we can say uh, this is a starting on. Seventeenth of March, and it is ending on let's say twenty eighth. Okay, so uh, these are the three sprints that our team has planned. So we are starting our sprint uh, uh, from I think it's the sixteenth of Feb, uh, which is let me see. I think something is wrong. Or hmm. okay. So it says like, you know, we started our sprint from 17th and then it's a two weeks of a sprint it will end on 27th and 2nd of March till 13th of March and 16th of March till 27th of March. And maybe by uh, after 27th of March, we are expecting that, uh, you know, our development will be done in the first three sprint and we want to do a small release. So I think uh, what we can do is, uh, let's say there might be some issues which we'll be doing in the uh, 
very first sprint. So maybe let's say I think the dev environment setup it will, we will be doing in the uh, sprint one. So we can just drag it and place it here. Okay, and maybe uh, we will also do the user login because without it you know we won't be able to. Uh, so I'm simply dragging it. Okay, like these two, and. Uh, I think uh, what else we can do is we can do forgot username. So I, I think this is also goes here. And uh, we can also do forgot password. Okay, so I mean, all the things related to the user management and the dev environment setup that has been there. And uh, let's say in the sprint two, we want to, we will be doing the test environment setup and uh, also we will be touching on the user profile creation because if the user profile uh, you know this is part of the user management and uh, we will also touch base maybe online payments in the third sprint okay so uh, kind of like this is our uh, initial structure for a uh, you know the initial sprints our team will be starting on the initial release that will comprise on and this is just a high level plan for some of the teams I mean we are not saying that you know e each and every sprint we have fixed item it's just help us to kind of like organize the work and uh, whenever the team you know start working on the sprint one they discuss during the planning okay what's the priorities anything you change so they can they can always shuffle the issues around Similarly, for the sprint two, a lot will depend like how well the sprint one will go. So, I mean, do not think that, you know, we are trying to recommend that, you know, this is kind of a fixed plan and the agile team will always have to stick to this plan. It all depends upon, you know, how our team adapts to the changing needs, the priority, how the development goes. But this gives us a good structure in terms of, you know, how we want to shape up our first release. Now let's see how we can create the release. So what we will do is if I if I go to the mode and click on the releases. So right now we can see there is no releases. So what we can do is uh, we can say create a create a version. Okay. So let's say we are saying this is our release one and the release one is starting all the activities are starting from 17th and uh, we will be doing the release once our sprint third is completed that means 20th so let's say we have chosen a date like which is 31st or uh, maybe uh, you know first uh, we can say like maybe second of april second of april we want to do our release and we can say this is our first release okay and we say save okay so now we have created a release we are saying okay all the development activities or the sprints which are starting from the 17th of feb they are part of this release and our release date is actual release date is 2nd of april okay now uh, what we can do is if we go back to the backlog so here in the version we can select uh, I think let's refresh this one because right now we created. So if we see the version we have, uh, we are now we are getting the release one. So if I select the release one, so there is nothing because we have not tagged any issues as part of the release one. So if I uncheck this one, so we are getting everything. So how we can tag, okay, what all issues, what all stories are part of the release one. So what we will have to do for that is uh, we can click on show version pan panel and uh, now we are getting this version panel and uh, we can see uh, there are no issues here so what we can do let's say the very first release we have decided everything that is really related to the user management that will be part of the release one so that means you know the user login will be there so we can simply drag it so now uh, this issue has been tagged with the release one similarly we are saying forget username as well it will be part of the release one we are also saying forgot password is also going to be part of the release one, right? So we have tagged and we can see here. So it shows like, okay, this is part of release one. This is also part of release one. Dev environment setup is kind of an enabler story. And uh, also in the sprint two, we are saying user profile creation is also release one. 
so uh, we have tagged these five issues with the release one and let's say uh, I mean because this is just for an example we are saying online payments using debit card this is also be going to be part of release one so these five issues or five story we have tagged with the release one so this is how we tag it and uh, if I go back to the release we can what we can do is we can select the releases from here and uh, here it shows the progress like what has been completed so if I select on the release one if I click on this one so it will give us okay what exactly our team has planned so our team is saying that okay our work related to the release one was started on 17th and we are doing a release on 2nd of April and as part of this release we are trying to complete these five user story and release them on 2nd of April so this is kind of like just a structure I mean it helps us to prioritize our work because I mean there is a lot of work where we target our uh, certain releases certain milestones so this is how we can structure them in Jira and but because we are an agile team so it all depends upon you know how well our development how well our implementation how well our execution goes now uh, one more thing I would like to show is if we go back to the board okay and uh, we're clicking on backlog so let's say uh, you know we have made some progress even though you know we I created everything uh, as part of this video we, we created three sprints we created the release we tagged some user story to the release but let's say team is in the middle of the sprint and maybe you know after uh, near near to the sprint one closer they are saying okay user login is done and the forget user num uh, username is also done so how we can uh, see that you know how the progress on the release looks like so if i again go back to the releases and i refresh this one so here uh, this is how it will show it will tell us okay there is some progress so we ha our team has to achieve this much but i mean we can see you know out of five they are completed like two issues so if i click on the release one so here we can definitely see okay yes out of five issues uh, the two are done here okay so we can again go back to the backlog so this was kind of a very first part on the release where we learned about uh, what is the usage of releases in jira how we can create a release how we can tag different stories as part of that release and also uh, how we can uh, check the status of the release how we can manage it right so uh, that was all about today's video i hope you guys liked it and again i mean i'm requesting if you are new to this channel please do share and subscribe thank you thank you so much